to the channel. Thank you today for joining me on another video. Today I'm going to be covering wireless charging. So wireless charging has been around for a while, but I've never had any device that has wireless charging uh, until now. So now I have the Galaxy S8 and the iPhone 8 Plus that has wireless charging. So I thought to myself, how much longer does wireless charging take in comparison to normal charging or just fast charging with the fast chargers? So what I did was obviously I decided to make a test out of it. So the uh, what I initially did was a baseline with the out of the box charger for the 8 plus and the S8 and then a test on the wireless charger pad and for both of the tests I used the out of the box chargers that you got out of both phones so I used the uh, 5 watt power cable a uh, power brick out of the iPhone's uh, box and the fast charger out of the S8's box. So after that initial test with the out of the box chargers is done I'm going to move on to wireless charging and see how much time exactly it takes for each phone to charge on each different kind of charger. And I'll be including some graphs and comparisons to show you guys exactly how much slower or how much faster each is. And if it's actually worthwhile to use a wireless charger or if it's just a gimmick that is really act pointless. So let's move on right into the tests. All right guys, so now both the phones have 1%. The S8 has 1%. There's no apps open. And I've put the phone on airplane mode, so we're all good here. And just to prove on the iPhone as well, I'm going to be turning off low power mode. Low power mode was on, so I'm going to be turning that off. So both of them are on normal mode, no apps open. And on airplane mode, as you guys can see right here. I'm sorry, my background made it hard to look at that, but trust me, that was airplane mode. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be connecting them to their power adapters and turning them on at the same time with the stopwatch so you guys can see. So what I'm gonna be doing is every 15 to 20 minutes, mostly even on half an hour intervals, I will be checking to see what the percentage is at. So the thing is I'm expecting the SA to be done within two hours, maybe even way less than that. So we'll see. So let me just check. All right, so I have both of the phones connected in power and I'm gonna be starting them in three, two, one. All right, both the phones are plugged in and charging. They're at 1%. Let's see how long it takes for them to get over. All right guys, so we are now approaching 30 minutes. So let's see what the status is. So the iPhone 8 Plus is at 23% and the S8 is at 37%. So we're clearly seeing uh, you know, a huge gap going. A few minutes ago it was a 10% gap, now it's about a 15% gap. Uh, the S8 is clearly pulling away, which is no surprise, but let's see how, how much quickly the S8 could actually charge over the iPhone. All right, everybody, so we just crossed the one minute mark a couple of seconds ago. Let's look at where the phones are right now. iPhone is at 43%, S8 is at 76%, so um, it's looking like a really obvious race here, but let's just keep going, see what the baseline is. I'm pretty sure the S8 is going to be done really quick at this point. So what I'm going to be doing is checking back every 15 minutes or so instead of the one hour and half an hour breaks that I've been doing. All right, guys, so we're coming up on one hour and 30 minutes. So let's check out the iPhone. iPhone is at 62. S8 is at 97. All right, it says about eight minutes more to get charged. Let's see. I'm going to leave the camera on now and time lapse till when it gets fully charged. So keep an eye out for the Galaxy S8's notification light over here. It will turn to blue once it's 100%. So let's go speed this up. All right, everybody, so the light just turned green on the Galaxy S8. So it is at 100% charge, it is fully charged. So that was very quick. Less than an hour and 40 minutes for 100% of charge is very good in my head. And the iPhone currently sits at 67%. So I'm gonna wait for the two hour mark, I'm gonna check on the iPhone, and the S8 is done. All right, everybody, so we just crossed the two hour mark, two hour and 30 minute mark and the iPhone is at 99%. So it was a lot quicker in the end than it was in the middle, 
So I'm gonna keep uh, checking every 30 seconds from this point onwards to see when it gets charged up. All right, everybody, so it is 100%. So as you guys saw, if you remember uh, the last little bit, the iPhone was at 99% about half an hour ago at the two hour, 30 minute mark. But it took half an hour to get that last one percent. It's finally now at 100%. So mad props to Samsung for having an excellent charging device. And Apple, this is ridiculous. Come on, include a better charger out of the box. So let's move on to the next part of the video. everybody so let's move on to the next part of this test and that is testing the iPhone 8 plus with a wireless charger so as you can see we are again at 1% and there are no apps open and we have everything turned off including Wi-Fi Bluetooth and location services right over here so you can see location services off so I'm gonna do this and so we're gonna time it as soon as I put this down onto the wireless charger base one two three go all right, so there we go. All right, everybody, so we are now approaching the 30 minute mark. So let's see where the iPhone 8 Plus is at. So we are at 15%. So after 30 minutes, we have 15% of charge. Let's wait for the one hour mark now. All right, everybody, so we are now approaching the one hour mark. So let's see where the iPhone 8 Plus has gotten to. So it's at 30%. So after one hour, we have 30% of charge. Let's check back after another half an hour. So we are now approaching the one hour, 30 minute mark. So let's see where the iPhone 8 Plus is at right now. So we are at 42% charge. So let's wait and see how long it takes to get to 100. All right, everybody, so we are now approaching the three hour mark. So if you guys remember, this is about where the iPhone with its wire charger got to 100%. So let's see where the iPhone is at after three hours on the wireless charger. We're at 75%. So immediately what this lets you know is that the wireless charger is about 25% slower. So it's not as bad as I thought, but let's see what another half an hour so we are now approaching the three hour 30 minute mark so let's see where the iPhone 8 plus is at right now so we're at 88 percent so again I'm gonna check in half an hour because I am pretty sure it's not gonna be there until another couple of hours so let's wait for another half an hour All right, everybody, so we just got to 100% on the iPhone 8 Plus. So just as I was checking at every two minute interval, I saw it tick over from 99 to 100%. So here we are, 100%, you can clearly see. So it took the iPhone 8 Plus four hours, 32 minutes and five seconds to get 100% charge on wireless charging. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not the best time, but that it is what it is. So. Let's move on to the next part of the test. You say you wanna try. All right, everybody, so moving on to the next part of this test. So we have the Galaxy S8 ready to go for the wireless charging test. So there's 1%. I've gotten rid of everything that was turned on, including uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and location services as well, as you can see and it is on airplane mode. So I'm gonna put it down onto the base and we'll see how much time it takes. Ready, set, go. All right, everybody. So we are now quickly approaching the 30 minute mark. Let's see where the Galaxy S8 is at. We're at 19%. So the estimate is two hours, 43 minutes till fully charged. So let's check back after another half an hour. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we just got a little bit over into one hour, so let's see where the phone is at right now. So we're at 39%, with the estimate being two hours and three minutes, so let's check after another half an hour. 
All right, everybody, so we're just a little bit over into an hour and 30 minutes, so let's see where the Galaxy S8 is at. So we're at 56% after an hour and 30 minutes. It says another hour and 29 minutes to go, so let's check back after another hour. Feel like I do right now. All right, everybody, so we just crossed into two hours and 30 minutes. Let's see where the Galaxy S7 is at right now. So we are at 88% and it says about 25 minutes till it's fully charged. So uh, I'm going to check back after 15 minutes now instead of 30. Let's see where we're at. A we... All right, everybody. So we just crossed over into the two hour, 45 minute mark. Let's see where the at Galaxy is at. We're at 96% and it says about 10 minutes until fully charged. So I'm going to be checking back after another five minutes. All right, everybody. Five more minutes in. Let's see where the S8 is at. It's at 97%, still right there. All right, so now just keep an eye out for that green light for the notification uh, the notification light right here. Keep, out, keep an eye out for that. The second it hits green, I will hit pause. All right, everybody, so just as I was checking the phone at the two hour, 59 minute mark, the phone went to 100%. So. You, it's very close to a th the three hour mark, but it is two hours, 59 minutes, and 23 seconds. So that's a lot better than the iPhone was. So let's move on. All right, everybody. So right now we're looking at the out of the box charger graph. So as you can see, when the phones started off, they were both about neck and neck, at least for the first 20 to 30 minutes. After that, the S8 just pulled away and obliterated the iPhone 8 Plus. It's obviously because of that turbocharger. Uh, the S8 was done somewhere around 95 minutes, whereas the uh, iPhone 8 Plus took well into one hour and 52, uh, sorry, 152 minutes. So that's about two and a half hours, a little bit more than that. The issue was that the 8 Plus, once it got to 99, it took forever to get to 100. So there's a little bit of inconsistency there, but the S8 did a really good job. I'd also like to remind you that the S8 has a 3000 milliamp hour battery compared to the 2695 of the 8 Plus. So with, despite having a larger battery, watch how the next results really, really, uh, they just, uh, they tell you a completely different story about the phones. All right, everybody, so we're now looking at the normal wireless charger um, graph. So as we can see, the S8 was a very linear curve. It uh, charged very consistently all the way up to 100. It took about three hours. The iPhone 8 Plus, on the other hand, it, it was it was less, it was linear in a way, but there was inconsistencies. It started off a little bit stronger, then the curve got a little bit. So the 8 Plus took a lot of time. Again, the same story. From 99 to 100 took way too much time, as you can see. Near the top, it's almost uh, unbelievable how much time it takes the iPhone to get to 100%. So another thing, just keep in mind, the S8 has the larger battery, iPhone has the smaller battery. Still, on the same wireless charger, the S8 obliterated, I'm gonna say, it, yeah, obliterated the iPhone 8 Plus. So now just comparing the iPhone 8 Plus's wired to wireless, we can clearly see that the wired charger is, uh, um, it's not as linear as the wireless was. Uh, it starts off a little bit linear, then it picks up really after 60% or more. And then it really tapers off once it gets to about 99. And it takes a good while to get done. The uh, wireless charger, a little bit more linear, it takes about the same time, but it still takes a lot of time to get from that 99 to 100% mark, which shows you that really steep plateau at the end. So here's the Galaxy S8's chart. So as we can clearly see, the Galaxy S8, the wire charger was just amazingly blazing fast. And we got to 100% in about 96 minutes. So that's just over an hour and a half. And the curve wasn't very linear, but it's perfect for, uh, you know, a quick charge up. So in an hour, you'll get about 80% or more charge, and that's more than enough for a quick charge up. The wireless charger, again, it was a lot slower, but it was still a lot better than the iPhone. And it was a lot more linear this time. There was a little bit of a slowdown after 50%. However, it still maintained 
and went up to 100% in a very linear manner. So as you guys saw, the results spoke for themselves. It's pretty clear that wireless charging is uh, significantly slower than normal charging, but that was a given because wire charging is obviously going to be faster. But the thing I was impressed by was how quickly the Galaxy S8 was able to charge over the iPhone 8 Plus while having a significantly larger battery. So thank you guys for watching this video. Check out my social media. I have all the links down below. I update all the behind the scenes stuff for when I'm filming these videos. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.